get the idea of the... And the thing. All right, well, the next one's really quite easy. Okay, guess who I am? Oh, yes, dear. Quite the perfect pin-up girl. Got photos of me legs in 14 hospitals. That's Tony. Slipped right out of me hands. Oh, what a life. Who'd work at a boarding house? I'd like you to see some of these lodgers here. Now, there's uh, number seven. Goes to bed every night in his golf jacket. Every night, winter and summer, he sleeps in that golf jacket. I said to him the other day, I got a bit nosy. You do get like that sometimes, don't you? I said, oh, you'll excuse me, sir, but uh, you must be very fond of golf. He says, fond of golf? I said, yes, you even sleep in your golf jacket, don't you? He said, yes, I know. Can't get the zip fastener undone. And we lost one of our lodgers this morning. He left because he said he couldn't stand the smell of the cooking. Nice man, too. He works at the sewage farm. But, you know, there's only one man in the old house I like. That's the governor. I can't stand the missus, but I do like the governor. He's such a nice, obliging little man. Let's the dog take him out for a run every night. I say, you notice what a craze there is for dogs these days? You know, everywhere you step, there's a dog, isn't there? Mind you, I like dogs all right. They're all right in the proper place, but they're never there, are they? But the fuss they make of this dog here, she had a birthday last week, and the presents that dog had given to her, she'll never be able to use them all. And someone gave her a Christmas tree. Yeah. Do you know that little dog looked at the Christmas tree? And she looked up into my face as much to say, well, I'll try anything once. Oh, she's a knowing little dog. But you know, I'm leaving my place here. Yes, Mrs. sacked me for being saucy, and all I did was to give her a message. You see, I was sponging my little aspidistra when there was a knock at my side door. And there was a baker, not our regular strange one. He says, would you Mrs. like to change bakers? I says, no, I don't think so. I think she's satisfied. Well, he says, you can ask her, can't you? I said, certainly. So I went into her. I said, uh, oh, uh, there's a fresh baker at the door, ma'am. And he says that if you'll have your bread of him, he'll come round and give you a hot roll over every morning. And that's what she sat me for. Oh, well, I don't care what with one thing and another and all these electrical gadgets. I'm always getting in a muddle with them. Only this morning I got my terminals mixed. There's the radio covered in ice and the refrigerator playing the Lambeth Walk. <laughs> oh, there she is. All right, all right, all right. Coming, coming. <laughs> Blimey. Slip right out of my hands. I shall need a partner for this next one. Now, is there any lady? Uh, oh, there you are, my dear. May I have the...
definitely very tasty, very sweet. <coughs> oh, evening, Colonel. Give us a pint of my usual. I said good evening to you. No, you didn't. You was addressing the Colonel. Getting a bit fuzzy, aren't you? Well, evening, Sergeant. That's better, Colonel, indeed. Mild, isn't it? Wrong again, mild and bitter. I meant the weather. You men are all the same. Can't get your minds off drink. Well, what do you think I come in here for? Get me haircut? You ought to join our guild. We bend the knee, not the elbow. I see. You get it out of the bunghole. Uh, it seems to me you are a fast lot, you Chelsea prisoners. <coughs> Pensioners. Oh dear, don't seem to be able to get anything right this evening. Prisoners? Not there. What set your show in, if I might ask? It's to do with my sister's trousseau. Do you know I mean? The women seem to wear them as much as the men these days. I don't know. Trousseau. She's getting married next week. Oh. Well, if you must know, it's a pair of, um... Oh. <laughs> I always thought they was made of flannel. <laughs> Things have changed a good bit since your young day, Sergeant. Uh, looks like a decided change for the better and all. <laughs> yeah. When are we going to hear about you getting spliced? Oh, when Mr. Wright comes along. Who? Mr. Wright. My Mr. Wright. Do I know him? No, of course not. He hasn't come along yet. What's he like? My Mr. Wright. Well, he doesn't drink and he doesn't smoke. He's got a tidy bit of money. He never goes gadding about. And he's always thinking of his wife and home. Oh, well. What's he doing trying to get off with you, then? <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. He, he's just a girlish dream. Uh, you do sound a bit like that. <laughs> and when he does come along, I'll marry him before you can say Jack Robinson. He don't drink and he don't smoke. No. Nope. Well, he got a bit of money. <laughs> yes. Well, all I can say is, is how he ain't right in the head. <laughs> uh, what's this other bloke like? What other bloke? This Jack Robinson. Oh, no, no, no. That's just a saying like... Oh, you get me all mixed up. Yeah. How about you popping the question, Sergeant? Yeah, I'm really uh, pulling my leg. No, I'd be proud to say my husband is a grand old Chelsea perisher. Perisher? Oh, Lord, I'm going to be able oh, to get blood pressure. I wonder right? why I get blood pressure. Here, come on. Give it to me. Let me fill it up again. Have this one on me. That's different. Uh, I'll accept your apology. <laughs> it will drink to your, your Mr. Wright. Oh, thank you. Seeing as how he can't drink for himself. <laughs> well, yeah. oh, when did you say your sister was getting married? Uh, next week. Next week, eh? Yes. Uh, half a minute, I got something here. I think. Yeah, here you are. You give her that, tell her it's just a little wedding present from old Chelsea pensioner. Oh. <laughs> oh, but, Sergeant, it, it's a gold watch. Uh, oh, she'll be ever so pleased. Uh, provided she don't expect it to go. <laughs> but don't you want it yourself? Well, it ain't no use to me. I give it to my old woman when we were spliced. Forty years ago, that were. But she's gone. Well, the only time I want it about now is opening time. <laughs> but w w will you mind the bar while I go and show it to Mother? Of course I will. Yeah. I shan't be long. Uh. <laughs> and, um... Uh. There's a kiss from the bridesmaid. <laughs> oh. First kiss I've had since Bella Clava. Very tasty. Very sweet. I wonder what would have happened if I'd give her a fur coat. <laughs> I don't know, mine. But it makes you think. 